CMS. Happy October 17th, 2017. Students, here are a couple of reminders. Please feel free to play with your tech decks in the lunchroom at your tables, but these toys should not be used in hallways or brought into classrooms. Snacks and, snacks and drinks other than water need to be consumed in the lunchroom or put away in your lockers. This means we should not be, see kids eating ice cream and other snacks in the classrooms or in the hallways. Your book cover sneak peek is available outside room 205. Check it out if, to see if you made this year's cover. DMS, our costume party is October 26th after school. It is $3 to get in and $1 for food items. Enter a raffle to win a restaurant gift card. All students are entered to win a whole bag of candy. Vote for your favorite costume. Hang out in the 90s game room, visit the selfie station, play in the gym, watch Space Jam with your friends. See you after school on October 26th. In honors of Veterans Day, the VFW, an organization of military veterans, is hosting an essay contest for the middle school age students from around the country. In order to participate, you would be writing an essay expressing your views on patriotic topics, or a patriotic topic. This year's topic is entitled, America's Gift to My Generation. Top prize for this year's contest is $5,000 and a tr free trip to Washington, D.C. For more information, please go see your 7th grade social studies teacher or 8th grade history teacher. All essays are due October 26th. Hey, my name is Caitlin, and welcome to In the Middle Riddles. So for our first riddle today, there are 30 cows in a grazing field and 28 chickens. How many are left? Ten, because 20 cows ate chickens. What language do billboards speak? Sign language. Two men are walking along a deserted island. One of the men gets hungry and decides to kill and eat the other man. When he gets back, no one discovers his secret. Who was the murderer? I'm the murderer. How else would I know about it? Thanks for watching In the Middle Riddles. Hello, I'm Lillian Smith from Team Myth. Today we're going to be covering the Cedar Point petition. The petition was started by Carson Henze and ran by his friends. It got over 300 signatures, which was enough to convince Miss Paquette and Miss Fenner to let our class of 8th graders be the last class of 8th graders to go to Cedar Point. The trip has now been moved to seventh grade, where you will go to Michigan Adventures instead. So today we're going to be talking to Ms. Paquette about why they did it. Hi, I'm Skylar Volway from DMS DTV, and this is Ms. Paquette. Hi, Skylar. Hi, DMS. Um, why were you letting the seventh graders join the trip? Well, um, Currently, the seventh graders don't have a field trip, okay? And over the years, with eighth grade adding the Washington, D.C. trip, and then having honors night, and then having the farewell dance, they've had quite a lot of things going on. And with the numbers that have built up in Washington, D.C., we figured now would be the best time to move that trip to seventh grade. But we wanted to have an overlapping year. We want to give eighth graders still that last chance to have that amusement park trip. Um, why did you switch it from Cedar Point to Michigan Adventures before the petition? Well, we've had quite a bit of talks about this, and we wanted to bring back, um, bring it back to Michigan, basically. We live in Michigan, we want to support Michigans, and Michigan Adventures is closer, and the ticket price to get in that door is cheaper, so we thought it'd be a great idea to switch to Michigan Adventures. And what Michigan Adventures has over Cedar Point is the water park. Cedar Point has a water park, but it was always separate, and it was never allowed. Um, but Michigan Adventures, that water park, is part of that ticket, so now students will be able to go in the water park as well. 
Mm-hmm. Um, is there a specific reason for you for why you chose Michigan Adventures being the choice rather than somewhere else in Michigan? Well, we don't have very many amusement parks in Michigan. Um, mm-hmm. Michigan Adventures is probably the largest amusement park we have in Michigan, which is why we chose that one. Um, how do you feel about the petition itself? I am very proud of our students because of that petition. The, uh, p- doing a petition and the way they went about doing it was the proper way of expressing um, the eighth grade opinion about what they would like to have, giving students a voice. And the way they went about doing that was in a very respectful manner and it wasn't disruptive to the environment at all. And besides that petition, we did have people who wrote very elegant letters to Mrs. Fenner expressing that opinion as well. Um, What do you feel are the good reasons for going to Michigan Ventures for the 7th graders and Cedar Point for the 8th graders? Well, because of that petition, you know, 8th graders were heard. And we're going to bring back, because it always has been Cedar Point for the 8th grade trip, why not let this last group of 8th graders go on the same trip that all other 8th graders have been going on? Now, with the 7th grade, we want to bring it back to Michigan so they can enjoy that water park and they can have that cheaper ticket price and it's closer. No one wants to ride that bus ride forever and ever and ever, and this will shorten that bus ride as well. Thank you for letting us interview you. No, you're welcome, Skylar, and have a great day, DMS.